All right, it's a question going around on social media today and probably late last night as well started. Who's more to blame for the Lions? Um, you know, lack of winning the last couple years, and it's between Bob Quinn and Matt Patricia. So let's talk about it. Hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. After kind of giving deep thought, it's easy. It's Bob Quinn. Um, he hired Matt Patricia, and since he hired Matt Patricia, all the pro progress that he's mounted with the Lions have went down the track, down the, down the drain. You know, some people are going to say, oh, it's Patricia, Patricia, Patricia. In an aspect, I can agree with you, but at the end of the day, you got to look at the dude who pretty much hired the guy. You know, and what happened was I think Bob Quinn is really, really at fault, even with some of the expectations that Matt Patricia, you know, people have for Matt Patricia in the Lions fan base because, you know, one, he hired him, and two, he made the famous statement, nine and seven wasn't good enough. Matt Patricia was in the... um he was in the, the part of he wanted to tear it down and build it up the way he wanted to build it up. Now, if Bob Quinn say, you know what, we gonna uh, we have some tur uh, you know, we have some turbulence here. You know, I know nine and seven isn't good enough, but we're going to have to let Matt Patricia get his personnel in. We might have to take a few steps back to take five or six, seven, ten steps forward in this franchise. So be patient. We're going to let Patricia implement his defense, implement his system. It's going to be a culture shock. It's going to be a culture change. You know, just bear with us. And then we're going to put a winner on the field. You know what? Some people would have said, hey, man, he said they was going to take a step back. You know what? Year three going to be the year. Year three is where they're going to turn the corner. Now that Patricia got all his guys here. He didn't got all the bad apples. Harrison, Clover Quinn, Quadre, and Darius Slay. He didn't got all the bad apples out, out of the, out of the uh, you know, out of off the team. No more Eric Ebron. Now the third year is the year we should start seeing some improvement. We should at least be Nate. When you look at it from that aspect, had he been honest and truthful, truthful with us up front about what this was going to be, I think more, more, a lot of people wouldn't be calling for his job. Oh, that's because of Bob Quinn. You know, though, that's the first two things people should be looking at. Now, some people say, oh, Patricia, but it's the way, you know, he, 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 he chokes out his team and, you know, it's the way that, you know, he treats the guys and, him the way he talking to the guys well once again he did basically want to implement his own system now he got his guys he can talk reckless to year three the whole starting defense is is people that he picked to be here him and bob quinn so had bob quinn put it that way i think a lot of more people a lot more people will be patient with patricia with patricia you know in detroit fox espn cbs sports They'd be more patient with him, but at the same time, Bob Quinn really set a bar that uh, to a height that Matt Patricia wasn't going to be able to reach the first two years. You fired Jim Caldwell, and now he's constantly going to be compared to Jim Caldwell because you said nine and seven wasn't good enough. So in a way, he set excuse me, he set Matt Patricia up for failure with his comment because they wasn't on the same page. But could you did they did they imagine that so many players would have revolted, revolt and 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 had an issue with with Matt Patricia? So many people didn't buy into what he was bringing. They didn't equate that. They thought they was going to be able to plug these dudes. They get with the program. They'll be able to take the coaching style. They'll be able to take to the system. They'll do what they was told. But what he didn't equate for is Jim Caldwell ran an organization and a culture that was built on discipline and that was built on a player, a friendly player coach. It was just too much of a 180. You had a player's coach that, that treated the veterans like veterans and treated the rookies like rookies and treated the guys like guys. But not only did he do it that way, he was respectful. He didn't disrespect you. You know, he can, he can identify with all the different cultures and ethnic backgrounds in the locker room. He was fluid, like water. You know what I'm saying? He knew how to treat his players. You know, before him, it was Jim Shorts with the rah-rah, you know, yelling and firing and, and being a player's coach. You know, being aggressive, but he didn't have the players under control. Discipline was the issue. Jim Caldwell came in and got it under control. They was disciplined. All the PI penalties and the personal foul penalties and all that bull job went out the window. He, he controlled with calmness. He controlled with respect. He was a player's coach. People was mad because he didn't get fiery enough. 
Come on, just because you show aggression and you show emotion, does that mean you people going to respect you or, or you going to win more? Ask Matt Patricia. No, ask Jim Harbaugh. No, it doesn't mean that. They did too much of a 180 in personality. And when he came in and, and tried to be the smartest guy in the room, he was arrogant. He was everything that Jim Caldwell wasn't. He was a polar opposite. So could some people say, well, Matt Patricia was the problem. You know, he 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 broke up the locker room. He disrespected the players. They had no respect for him. His defensive schemes wasn't good enough. You know, he he's arrogant. He he's cocky. You know, the players don't like him. All that's true. You know, all, all that is true. Like he is the one, he's the biggest difference in that locker room from any player or any coach. He's the biggest difference. But who hired him? Who brought him here? Who wanted to reinvent the wheel? Who just didn't want to say, you know what, let's keep Caldwell and it's working. It's, it's not the guy I wanted from New England, but it's working. Who sat here and got rid of the capologist? This ain't the first time Bob Quinn done this. Who got rid of the capologist who was doing a damn good job? Who got the cap under control? Bob Quinn in. He brought the guy from Arizona that was from New England. He brought him in. Terrell Austin had a wonderful defense. Who got rid of him? Bob Quinn. Jim Caldwell, good, good coach. Who got rid of him? Bob Quinn. Who been having shitty drafts other than this year? Bob Quinn. <laughs> So we can go on and on and on again. Matt Patricia wouldn't be here if it wasn't for Bob Quinn. And to be honest, Bob Quinn ain't did the greatest job as far as bringing personnel players in. Threw money away on Trey Flowers. You could have found that in the draft. You'd have, Josh, you'd have drafted, you'd have tanked the year before last and rested Matthew Stafford and got Josh Allen. So you could have even moved up and then been hired. You would have got Josh Allen and he could have gave you that same motherfucking production down the road that Trey Flowers gave you. And you would have had a healthy Matthew Stafford this year. And you probably would have won at least eight games and people wouldn't be looking at you funny. That's all a personnel decision. That's that's all his decision. He the GM. They should have shut, sat down Stafford two years ago. They would have got Josh Allen. We wouldn't even been talking about talking about nothing. Could have took Devin Bush last year where he was at. Ed Oliver was a perfect fit for what you needed. He could play defensive end. He could play interior. You try, you took Ed Oliver when nobody would have missed the Sean Hand last year. You can go time and time against his bad draft picks. He's made more mistakes here than Matt Patricia has. And don't forget, he brought Patricia here. You know, if you want to get in, 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 in the overall totality of everything, it's, it's the Fords. You know, they don't know Sheila and Martha don't know shit about football. The NFL is pretty much controlling this franchise when they need a coach. They they go through the hiring process. She said in an interview with Rod Wood, who knows nothing about football. Oh, he sounds like he knows what he's talking about. We don't care about his credentials. Let's hire him. Same thing as our old man. If you're talking about everything in the entirety, it's her fault. But Bob Quinn is his fault. Talk about his personnel decisions. Rick Wagner struck was bad pickup. T.J. Lang bad pickup. Draft the good guy Graham Glasgow. You let let him go, yeah. and bring a guy from Big V from from Eagles, who and honestly from people telling me he suck. Draft the Taylor Decker left tackle had a good first year. Ever since shoulder injury, garbage hasn't even thought about getting a replacement. Number one problem here in Detroit was fixing the run game. It hasn't haven't done it yet. You draft a tight end, you know, when people don't draft tight ends that high. When you could have got Oliver, Bush, could have tanked and got Allen. So he made way more mistakes than Patricia has this year. Patricia's mistake is he's just an asshole. He's just arrogant. I mean, overall, he made the mistakes. He's arrogant. Um, you know, he don't, in his football IQ ain't as high as him being a rocket scientist. But all of Patricia's downfalls and all of his shortcomings, they all add up on, on, on Matt Patricia Bill. You know what I'm saying? I mean, on Bob Quinn Bill. Plus Bob Quinn's shortcomings. So it's all Bob Quinn fault, you know? And he brought Matt Patricia here. And all that, all the weight is on his shoulders, man, this year. But, hey, it is what it is. Let me know what you guys think. Don't forget me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. 
You reach out if you have a business question, quiet response, your video request, want to make a donation, cash out, PayPal description. Best way to donate is to share, share the video. But hey, let me know who you think at most at blame for the Lions being in the position that they in. Bob Quinn or Matt Patricia, one time for the one time we gone.